Okay, so the purpose of this is to give you a walk through the whole game, basically. Uh, as you can see, we're spawn on Mars. Uh, I've kind of picked a spot already where I'm going to build a base. I kind of like this spot. It's right in front of this. This is a good spot for flops and uh, copper and things like that. So <coughs> let's get started. Uh, grab some copper. So you can see this iron, iron ore even. Uh, there's iron spread about on the floor. This is one of the missions you can see in the top left. And basically just run around and grab it off the ground. We're going to get nitrate as well, which is a slightly slightly lighter colour. So this is kind of coppery colour. Though it's a, it's a bad time. This is actually a um, my own server, so it's nice and clean. Uh, it is open to public. You're welcome to join, but anyway. So I'm going to try and go through the entire, every single mission in the game. I'm going to try and do it in one night. Um, I'm post to YouTube, basically. Um, probably do it in a few parts. Anyway, we've got to find some nitrate. There we go. We got all the nitrate. So it says equip your 3D printer. So now I'm using PC. I don't know what the controls are going to be for you, but you open up the menu. I'm going to try not to delve too much into controls and things like that. I'm also going to try not to uh, go too much into the grinding side. So because this is a private server, it kind of helps. Um, it means that I don't have to do all the grinding stuff, so I can get this done in one night. So you won't be able to do it realistically yourself unless you're unless you have admin commands. But um, essentially, it's going to be more of a tutorial of how to do all the missions. So that's what this is. Okay, so I will be teleporting about and things like that, but you know. Anyway, so equip mo mobile printer, place on the ground, craft refined iron, so open up your inventory. Again, it's not so much about the crafting aspect because it does kind of teach you that. It's more about just doing the missions. Later on, it's going to be. Let's do one more. It's going to be more. Um, there's, there's some missions that are kind of tricky. So. Right now is kind of simple. I'm going to put the printer back down. But later on, it's definitely going to get a lot more. Uh, is that 10 millimeter low grade? Okay, so craft a couple of those. Okay, only wanted one. Never mind. So it says reload your SA6 Wraith. Now, see straight away, the missions can be a little bit. Um, they're not always dead clear on what you need to do. It says reload your SA6 Wraith. What it really should be saying is craft SA6 Wraith. Uh, so anyway, SA6 Wraith. I need a little bit more iron. Let's pick up the 3D printer so I don't forget where I put it. Uh, again, I'm not talking about the controls. Uh, meteors are quite good for farming. They're, they're spawning kind of close, but yeah, we're not quite at a point yet where, where we can grab the resources from those. Grab a little bit more iron. I believe that should be enough now, but let's get some more. When we see it, we're going to get tons of this stuff as soon as we, we can um, build an excavator. Now, I would be just using the admin ch admin cheats to just spawn that stuff in, just to show you, but you need to do this for missions anyway. So, you know, what the heck. Okay, so this always takes iron. So, basically, th they kind of made it so you can... Um, in this game, use your guns basically the whole way through. So... Let's pop that in there. There we go. Equipped. Uh, I normally drag it down to the hotbar because I, I, I'll have a specific setup for this later, which I'm just used to, but you know, try it however you want. Uh, reload it. Okay, so now we've got to craft a pulse excavator Mark 1. You can press V as soon as this comes up, it's probably going to be different on console and PlayStation, but uh, Xbox and PlayStation, but they always give you flops for doing these missions, so it's well worth it. They always give you little or the little gifts as well, so you know, definitely worthwhile doing the missions, which is what this video is about. <clears throat> but it also it also kind of shows you how to play the game. But some of the missions do get quite difficult. Um, anyway, pulse excavator again. We need more iron. So let's grab that back. Let's try and find some more iron. My because I just spawned in as a completely new player, you'll have noticed that. So I haven't done any of my protocols yet. This is like right at the beginning. Um, so I'm a, I'm a brand new player on this server. I, I reset, reset the server for the purpose of that. Um, so I might as well. Oh, that's another objective as well for later, but I did that one a little bit early. Uh, it's okay. 
Let's see if we have enough iron now. Let's see if we can grab another couple of bits. This is probably not the best place for like grabbing random bits of iron, but but down the cliff there, I, I don't want to get too far away from this area, but down the cliff there, there's a few more bits. Uh, the dust iron that you can mine. Uh, what was the mission again? Pulse excavator. Okay, we still have enough. Let's just run down the cliff and see if we can find some. There we go. We're cooking on gas now. Always pick up the nitrate as well while you're running past it. It's not heavy, um, so you might as well like always grab the nitrate. Like you're going to need it for uh, for ammunition later on. Um, so I would advise that you grab that pretty much whenever. I wouldn't like go out of your way for any, but you get a lot out of rocks as well. I just have a habit of picking it up. Okay. After we've done this, iron, we should hopefully have enough for the excavator. There we go. It's saying not enough resources, but that's to craft a second one. I mean, you can fast forward through parts of this, but... I'm trying to uh, kind of get through the whole thing. I'm just doing a little bit of inventory management there. I find having the main weapon in your first slot having your excavator in there and over this end I have the the mining tool and you want kind of meds in these slots so you can quickly swap to them. I tend to scroll to swap so anyway let's equip it and it's probably going to tell us to mine some iron with this okay so like I say uh, kind of down the hill here I mean it's irons just all over the map so you're really not going to have to worry too much about it like, you're not going to have to go f ever have to really go far to find some iron. Though I say that, we're probably going to struggle. Oh no, here's some. Okay, so iron ore. As you can see, I'm getting nitrate from that as well, and flops. So flops are basically like XP in this game. Uh, iron, you're going to need to build your base, as well as many other things, guns, uh, all sorts of devices. Iron's used for all sorts of things, but it's not hard to come by. And I might as well pick up the nitrate. Especially kind of early game. I mean, I mean once we've done these missions, um, I'm just going to be spawning the resources in so you don't have to watch me doing these grindy things all the time. Unfortunately, the first few missions are a little bit slow, but, you know, that's too... Um, to kind of get you into the game. Uh, on this server as well, I'll point out now that I have uh, enemies ha do to half the damage and have um, half a health. So it's probably going to take you. It's probably going to take you whatever ammo it takes me to kill them. It's probably going to take you twice as much. Okay. Struggling here to find some iron. There's got to be some down here. And that's magnesium. Okay, so we're, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. Uh, but we're going to need magnesium later, so... Kind of around this area is actually fairly good for magnesium. There's a few more chunks there. But let's try and... There's a lot of magnesium here, actually. Let's not mine it all though, because like I say, I'm I'm, I'm just going to try and do the missions. Uh, and I'll just grab the things that aren't part of the mission as and when I need them. Not too worried about health. I'm going to pop on a suit shortly um, as well. Uh, basically just to try and get myself around the map a bit quicker. Um... Okay, so we want aluminium from AI remains. Okay, that's that one done. I probably should have killed those guys. I should have been focusing on that when I saw them. But we know where they are. They're just up this hill somewhere. I think. Okay, I'll tell you what's going to be easier. I'm just going to teleport to here. Um. The good thing about this this teleporting I'm doing is you can see literally exactly where I'm going on the map because it's wherever my cursor is. 
Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of that. Just for the sake of the video, like I say. There we go. We got enough iron now. So you just use your pulse excavator on these guys when you've killed them. There's quite a lot around this area. I'm not going to worry too much about the quiet biomass from AI remains. Okay, so I already did the oxygen one. You can see you saw the pipe earlier. There's one in front of this building down here. Like I say, it's a pretty good place to spawn uh, because there's an oxygen supply right down there. Um, it's, this is the south side of the map, by the way. When you get when you pick when you when you die and spawn in, this is this. You just select south, and you'll be somewhere around this area. I'm not going to worry too much about those guys. Uh, Quiet biomass from supplies or AI remains. Alright, well let's kill a couple of these then. Yeah, so he didn't give me any biomass. <coughs> Sometimes you do get it off the dead bodies though. So so like I say, the pit they normally take four bullets. Um from supplies. Okay. An easier way of doing this then might be to just Yeah, these aren't dropping any biomass for me. If you wanted to fast forward a little bit past these this few early missions, I honestly wouldn't blame you. But I'm um I'm keeping them in there just because I want to do a full playthrough, I want it all in one, um You know, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna really leave anything out. So you can like if you you've literally seen everything I've done from the moment I've spawned in that way. Uh, yeah, I'm not having much luck on the biomass front though. Really? Come on, game. Okay. Now, when I'm shooting these guys, I I, I rarely look down the scope um, unless they're quite a distance away, and the reason for that. is that <laughs> sorry <about that. laughs> uh, the reason I really down the scope is because it's so long to ADS and these guys jump around a lot and you find that um, right we're gonna upgrade our gun shortly just so we can get through these missions without having to worry about these guys so much um, probably should have reloaded before I changed to this thing. Come on, I only need two biomass now. I'm nearly there. Biomass, biomass, biomass. There's got to be some in one of these things, surely. Okay. We'll not worry about the monitors and things right now, but we will need those later. Crafted dry ration. Okay, let's get out of here first. first. Because uh, these guys are kind of distracting me, and I didn't—I didn't put on my good stuff yet. I'm gonna—I'm gonna get some decent gear on. Um, but you can kind of see how much damage these guys are taking from a pistol. It's two bullets for the little ones, I think like four for the bigger ones. But normally it would be four for the little ones, eight for the bigger ones, I believe, with this gun. Um, but we don't have the best gun yet. We don't have the best ammo yet, or anything like that. All right, we're in a safe spot. Crafted dry ration. Okay into the inventory. This one's already unlocked. See the skill tree, all these things to unlock. Uh, some uh, it's there, we've already got it. Um, there's better food that you can make. There's med kits and things like that. First aid sprays in here, which I will be using a lot later on, especially as we get to the end game. Um, <coughs> anyway, let's craft it. Let's say add dry ration. Yeah, let's just get one going. Quite expensive. Okay, consume the dry ration. I'm not really hungry right now, but the game's making me do it. Okay. You can always hear footprints, like, you can hear them from so far away as well. So, craft a welding tool, Mark 1. Okay, because it's just appeared, it's just popped into my head, I want to quickly talk about a couple of uh, settings. That I would recommend changing. So if you come to the menu, pause menu, uh, go into settings. Um, I find that the audio music volume is like really 
they, they made it really loud like you, you can hardly hear what's going on in the game and the, and the music's always so loud like if you like the music that's that's fine but i've turned it way 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 down to 16 percent. you can still hear it at that um but yeah so i turned that way way down um i did a couple of key binds that i'm used to uh i can't remember exactly which ones i changed um I think I made the scroll up, scroll down one. Um, if you want to pause and just, you can see see what I've got my controls out there. I've got the keybinds out. Uh, th there's a couple that I might want to change later on, but mostly that's set up well for me. Like, let's let's see if I can think think of some that I did change. See, I, th I think the inventory screen. I think that was original, like shift or something. I changed that to tab, just because that's what I'm used to. And uh, another kind of big one in display is uh, a field of view. Uh, now I think, and maybe that's telling me the default value. Um, horizontal field of view. Basically, I, I found that um, maybe it's changed it because I I, de I definitely have that a lot set higher, I believe, than what it was. Unless they've turned it off, because I swear I changed the horizontal field of view at one point. Anyway, there's a couple of settings things. I'm gonna spawn in myself some gear. Uh, you know, I'm not. I, I already favorited a few that I kind of like. Uh, if you've got an admin server, you, you, it just gives you this men, these menus if you press F8 or find it in the thing. But basically, these are the essentials that I use. So I'm gonna get all the kind of best stuff. You know, it's just cheating, but I'm just trying to uh, show you the best way. Of uh, getting through the game, so I like this. Um, I have a two times, but like I say, I, I don't very often ADS um, unless they're a fair distance away. Uh, and I like this, but this is a late, very late game. But this is a 50 mag um, clip. There's a 30 that's quick reload as well, but I find it's not that much quicker. I I, I just prefer the anyway. So let's get our, our decent setup uh, going. Oh, I only got one leg, one arm. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get another leg and an arm and a helmet. I, I didn't favorite my helmet. Uh, armor. Work his head. I want to miss his headlight. So this is just so that I'm not dying all the time while I'm trying to, you know, uh, show you how to, so to equip um, attachments, just drag it onto the gun. If you want to change the attachments that are already on it, so I'm just double clicking these to put it on myself so I got my armor set up. If you want to modify, you gotta you gotta drag it out your inventory first. Maybe this is different on the PlayStation and stuff, but yeah, that's essentially what I got. Now another good one to have actually, which I haven't got favorited, is a again late game, but I won't be talking about this late game, so I'll get it out of the way now while I'm doing it. A ballistic shield. Okay. Oh, it's there. Okay, so that kind of goes around the gun. Like if, you, if you're taking shots from the f to the kind of face of the body, it blocks them a little bit. I find it's quite good though. It does drain the damage of your of your gun. So anyway, let's get this loaded up. So now I'm basically going to be killing a lot of uh, the kind of smaller creatures in one bullet. A lot of them in kind of fewer bullets because I, you know, it's a pretty powerful gun. Oh, there you go. I think he was just a little white one though. Now the colour does matter, but I'll go into that more later. Anyway, so craft a welding tool, mark one. Welding tool mark one. Okay, so it's saying that it must be unlocked in the ski drill tooling. So you can go to the skill tree or you can just press E on this. E for me anyway, like could be a different control than yours, and it'll take you to where it is in the and then press E on it again. Um so I'm probably at some point just gonna flick through and just unlock all the flops. Just give myself a ton of flops just so I can speed through this um, to try and make the later game a bit more interesting, but I'll, I'll probably do that later. Uh, okay. Um, okay, welding tool. I didn't add enough iron from, for that. From the... Um, oh, I'm trying to drag it out of there. Try and remember not to leave your 3D printer behind. Like, I mean, early game anyway. You know, it's, I think they're pretty cheap to craft. Um, 
if you can even craft them. Oh, if you die, you get one. Yeah, anyway. Uh, some meteors coming down again. Uh, equip your welding tool. Place hologram platforms. So this is in the building menu. Um, click on them. For me, it's enter, but you can click that or whatever. Uh, so I'm going to build up a quick base here. Uh, and I'm actually going to make it um, a decent size. So that I've got a base for later. Now, you probably starting off probably only want like a kind of 2x2. Two two. Um, but 2x2, uh, 3x3. Two two, three three. Uh, I would recommend building it two stories high though. Um, and the reason I say that is that uh, there's going to be a lot of things that require two stories high. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to pop a couple of these down. Um, so you need to have the amount of iron that it says there in the middle in your inventory, um, and you just point the tool at it. Action button. Okay, so I'm going to place a wall because this is saying again I've I've not unlocked this yet. So let's just go to the skill tree purchase. So let's pop a wall up. Fill in the wall. So it's it's saying to build up ceiling tiles and a door frame and stuff. Um, I'm going to build the admin terminal first um, because while I'm doing this mission, I'm going to build up like a proper base. Okay, I don't have an iron. Let's let's get a ton of iron. Actually, it's in my favorites, I think. So, like I say, I'm not going to be going grinding around the whole time. Um, I will get this mission out of the way. And then I'm just going to build this up really, really quick. Uh, anyway, let's get some flops as well. So I'll show you how to get flops um, more later on. But I'm just going to chuck myself 100,000, just so I don't have to worry about that for a while. Uh, and then I'm just going to upgrade this all the way. So what this is, you, at stage 1 you can only do like 25 parts. At stage 2 you invest 500 flops for some reason. you got to drag that all the way to the end. Then you can build it up to... Um, when we invest that amount then I can build 100 parts but also increases the, the radius which you can build them. Uh, also increases the protection time which is important so that's 500 flops is not hard to get and that's given me eight days there so you know might as well check the flops in your base it's probably the most important thing okay so I'm just gonna finish this one uh, ceiling tiles walls okay we'll, we'll do we'll do a door okay again gotta unlock it I'm just gonna quickly whip through these and just unlock everything uh, Okay, I'll talk a little bit about them as we're doing it. Like, I'm, this is probably going to be a mainly... I mean, I'll mention it in the... Um, sorry if that's too loud for you to hear me. So these... these uh, this is probably going to be mainly about the kind of basics of starting up your skill tree and stuff like that, but in the next one I'll... I'll it'll be a bit more interesting, I promise. Um, we'll actually do some decent missions, hopefully. Go exploring the map and things like that, but... Um, so yeah, so you want to get... Um, now you want you want you'll obviously need the door frame and the door. Um, these are definitely worth it, like early on. See that costs twenty flops. Like I can I can turn around and shoot like one guy, and that will give me like fifty flops. You know, in, in like two bullets or whatever, four bullets. And honestly, there's there's enemies all over the map. You, you're not going to really be struggling to, for, for flops. Though I did just give myself a hundred thousand, so you know. But in my um, I did come from a PvP server. And, um, not a PvP server, an official server, sorry. Uh, and you do really need to grind flops, but they're not hard to get either. Like, you're gonna need to, you need to work for them. Um, but you will be getting a lot as you progress in the, through the missions, so, you know, it's not gonna be too much. So let's, let's do some, a couple more walls. Actually, I gotta finish this guy. As soon as this mission's over, I'm just going to speed through the rest of this build-up, and then that's probably going to be the end of the first section. Um, 
So we'll, we'll, we'll get a nice little base set up, show you how to build it, um, the kind of shape I would advise um, for early and late game. Um, I'm probably actually going to go three stories high, but you probably need to go two, but I'll explain why later. Uh, anyway, okay, so I need to do some more walls. So you just click. <coughs> you don't need to release click, by the way, to move to a different thing. Uh, you can just like move and stop looking at the other thing. I'm gonna do mo one more wall. Oh, come on, game. Okay. Now, one really good way of getting flops, and I'll mention this now because it's active. See over there on the map. See that that big uh, line. By the way, those those meteors coming down have nothing to do with that line. It's a separate thing. But if I look on a map, um, now I can see where that's going on. That's at, at outpost Cheviot. All in that red zone, you can see there it says PvP area. So that's an event now. Depending on how busy your server is, at the time of day, what server you're on and stuff, um, basically you can get 2,400 flops uh, from that area if you're there on your own. Um, so that's like, it's worth going, you know, if, if there's one fairly nearby, um, if you know there's not a lot of people online, or you don't really have anything valuable and you don't mind losing, or you want to get into some PvP action and shoot some people, that's a good place. It's good to go to these events. Anyway, uh, build up ceiling tiles. I will... I'm just going to do this, just for the sake of getting this mission out of the way, but I'm probably going to knock them back down later. Okay. Yeah, let's place them in an re unrealistic place, just so that we can... Because I'm going to build up three stories high, but like I say, maybe you want to do two stories for early game. I wouldn't recommend one story, because you're going to find that pretty much straight away, you're going to want like a large storage container. Uh, that's pretty early game. Uh, and they you need two stories high, so, so if you do it one story high, you're very quickly going to be going to be wanting to craft another one. Now this is a PV E server, um, and I think most of them are now. Um, certainly the official ones. Oh, I was looking for my um, for this guy, uh, my printer, but it looks like I left it down there. Okay, build up a storage container. Okay, uh, devices. Uh, admin Tim already got storage container. There we go. We'll do all the rest of the things later on. You'll see it all. Uh, storage container. Let's just plonk that there next to the wall. Get my drill back out. Now eventually it's going to send me on another mission. At which point I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to probably get rid of all these things and, and build the base that I would like it. Uh, I have to work because it's just... Okay, certainly incomplete. Cool. Let's claim the flops for that. Now, if you if you don't manage to press V, you can go to protocols. Uh, you'll see there's like a chest icon there that's telling you that it's ready to claim, and you can click claim rewards, claim rewards. Also, if there's like a few missions there, I never really do this. I just go for the one it's telling me at the top. But you can pin a different mission if you want to do that one first, and you, you want it to remind you what it is, or unpin so you don't see that stuff there. We're literally going to have all this done. Now, this one's always there. This mission, you're gonna. This is like the end game mission that he just shows you about early on. Like, I will, I will make a memory capsule early on, um, but I'm not gonna finish it until end game. Uh, so, you know, if you want to make a memory capsule, it's good. It's good. Like, you might as well make it to put your things in to see how close you are to the end. But yeah, um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. And this guy's getting on my nerves. Be quiet out there. Okay, um, <laughs> that's better. <laughs> uh, okay, so workers chest protector. It's saying there we go. We already got enough iron for that, but you know, you you have to run around. You have to use your um, excavator to grind to grind some iron, potentially for this. Um, I didn't mention earlier that the blue storage containers are the ones that have stuff in. Uh, I'll show you. I'll, I'll try and remember to tell you again. If, if they're like red or orange, they, they don't have stuff in. Uh, okay, so now it's saying make a helmet. 
uh, which I gotta unlock. Oh, sorry. You you gotta you gotta connect the lines basically. So it's saying I can't get that one because I don't have this yet. I just thought that the left one was the first one. I didn't realize. Anyway, we can send protectors now. Grab one of those again. It's iron. You can iron for so many things. So you know, but I wouldn't recommend you always pick it up either. Like grind some around your base, store it in your base. When you go out, when you go out looking for things, you're gonna find other things that are gonna fill up your inventory. I, I would recommend trying to get iron from around your base and chucking it down. Obviously if you're going out specifically looking for iron, travel as far as you want looking for it, but if you're out trying to do one of your tasks, I would probably just to, like kind of leave the iron because it's heavy. Uh, and you'll find while you're doing the mission, you're probably going to get a lot of loot anyway, and you're going to end up like, what am I going to do with this all this iron? But another tip is, if you've got your 3D printer with you, you can turn your iron into iron ingots using your 3D printer, and that reduces the weight a little bit. <coughs> okay, first aid spray. Again, need to unlock it. Let's 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 just bash through this and unlock a bunch of things. Like these early ones. Um, See that one? Ten, ten um, flops, uh, and it increases the amount of health restored by consuming. That's probably not the best example, but certainly that one's going to be useful. Certainly late game when you need to heal a lot. Um, but they do get more expensive as you go along. So, for example, that's two thousand five hundred and sixty. These are three twenty. So, th so that one that's um, that's three twenty, and that one was like. Uh, yeah, they, 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 you can get the same one here, for example, uh, decrease the resources consuming, uh, crafting consumables by 5%, it costs you 40, that does the exact same thing, but it costs you 800, so kind of late game, it's it's, it's going to start to get more expensive to do this, to upgrade yourself as much, so, if you're getting 5% now for like, one kill, it's well worth it, right? Okay, so these, with the jigsaw puzzle around them, they, um, They need to be unlocked by finding blueprints, which, again, way later. Uh, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves, and I, I appreciate I keep saying that, but anyway. Let's just unlock a bunch of things here so that we're not always in these menus. Because I think you understand how the skill tree works. Like, these ones are good, decreases the weight of equipped gear if you're out trying to get iron and things like that. Uh, definitely a good one to try and grab. So this is just unlocking better quality armor, um, and it does. It, it, it's definitely worth worth wearing. Um, that increases the hit points of your equipment, but I don't. I don't find the hit points are too bad, and and they're not that expensive to replace either. Um, your armor and things. So, you know, it's it's not the best one to to fill up. Appreciate sure this is probably loud. Now these weight ones are definitely good, but you can't get past that because we don't have these uh, blueprints yet. Um, we'll, we'll we'll come across blueprints as we're going through. Okay, that's all good to the end of the tree. Like increases the speed of building and dismantling by five percent. So this one was probably ten flops, and that was like what a thousand, two thousand. Um, and it's it's the same thing. Like so, you might as well get the get them early. But you are going to want certain weapons and stuff unlocking, so you know I also wouldn't blame you if you saved up the fobs. Okay, I can't get past there yet. I need to pull six of two now. I have found those randomly lying around the map. Um, definitely worthwhile getting. Um, you need to find a blueprint to unlock it, and it also costs you one thousand two hundred eighty flops. So you know uh, you're going to be probably stuck with this one for a fair few, you know, a fair amount of time amount of time. I'm not going to unlock anything down here. I mean, you could do if you wanted, but that's for a crossbow and, and a nail gun. Um, okay, so we've done that tree. I'll do the opposite one because this is it's going to increase my ADS and things, so again, worth doing. Uh, and this is not one of those things where you have to um, have Unlock them to be able to use them. You will, you will find these attachments around a map. You'll even find a really like. You'll, I even found eight, a few eight times scopes around a map. Um, you know, so you don't need, necessarily always need to learn them. Um, 
But if you want to be able to craft your own and you really like those kind of things, then it's definitely worthwhile. Right, so I'm using an AR, so I, I, I like, I just completely, um, my first run through the game, obviously non-admin, I just tried to whack as many points into this as I could. Uh, because like, like, these are giving you increase the reload speed of assault rifles by 5% and I find the reloading speed is quite slow in this game so that's a good one to have. Uh, the, that's not a suppressor by the way, these are only barrels, there's a bunch of different barrels, you'll have to just read through the description to find which is what, the best one for you. Um, I think right now I'm using a heavy barrel because it increases we weapon accuracy and reduces accuracy loss but again another late game thing. Right, I think that'll do for now. Um, yeah, I think I did a little meds and things like that. Anyway, so I've, I've given you a talk through that while I was doing it, so I guess it wasn't like a complete, uh, completely boring for you. Um, okay, so let's do our first aid spray, Mark One. Uh, I just have exactly enough for three. It's perfect. I think the thing I didn't have enough of earlier was iron to make that. Okay, so now it's telling me to go to Koran, Scafell. Oh, okay, I'm wearing a Minus helmet. You can find these about the map fairly early on. Just press uh, on mine, I've got it set to V to turn the light on and off. I'm sure the controls will be different than yours. Um, just while it's putting them ahead as well, I mentioned this one uh, in chat. Um, I don't think there's anyone online right now. It's pretty, yeah. Um, so that's that's local chat that's that's nearby you in a certain range and I'm not 100 percent sure exactly what the range is and this this game it kind of um, there's not that much documentation hence me doing this video or these videos um, so yeah to, to check globally you have to type slash G see that's gone white now um, and to alliance I believe it's a oh, you must be in an alliance yeah um, so that's how you chat to different groups. It's kind of frustrating because I was stuck in this game for so long and I was like, I don't know how to do this and that and I don't know how to ask anybody because I literally, like when you type in chat, I'm like, hi, hi guys, how is everyone doing? And then, then I'm like, why does nobody talk like in this game? And it's because they can't hear me. It's because they literally cannot see the messages that I'm sending because I'm just typing locally. I think it would make more sense for them to have made it um, default to global, um, because you know you more likely want to chat to people all over. Though I suppose if you've got a lot of players online, then then it's a different story. All right, so let's build up the base. Let's. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use some admin cheats to try and uh, speed through this thing. Uh, where are we put pop things to build on. Okay. Not the roof down. By the way, I can double jump because of the kit that I've got, and that's not an admin thing, though I did spawn those in. Um, and th again, that's another kind of late game. I'm seeing the late game a lot. Right, so we're just building up instantly now. Didn't mean to do that one. Actually, yeah, these are fine. Now there's no point building up in anything stronger. This is again dependent on anything on the server you're on, but there's no point building out of anything stronger than the basic in this area. Now there is later on uh, in the PvP areas. Now PvP areas, as you saw one earlier, there was one there. It's gone now. The event they only happen every so often, um, and this is a PvP area up here as well. The only two PvP areas. Um, and it's really obvious when you're in it, you have to walk through a big red like membrane thing, but into the late game thing, but you can go in there early game. Um, so you can destroy bases, kill players, whatever in that area. Um, and in my experience, certainly on the server I was on before, um, you get a lot of bases built up there. If you want to do some raiding, there's a lot to raid, but I think it's kind of an expensive thing as well. Uh, so I'm going to do this kind of 5x5 five five just because I tried and tested that one. Um, oh, Maybe I'll just build further this way then. I've probably put it in a little bit of a bad spot. Again, plans everything. 
Yeah. All right. Well, I think this will do. To be honest, um, I can maybe put an extra vault on the roof. I really can't bother to put knock those walls down. Uh, I might pop another door out here as well. Um, just for the sake of it, just kind of easier access to um, to here, so I don't have to kind of walk. Oh, I thought my door was on the that side. I thought it was. I thought my door was there. Oh, never mind. Oh well. I right, we got two doors there. That looks okay from this side, though. It looks like it was intentional, almost. Uh, anyway. Right, so... And, and the thing about the doors... Okay, now I only recently figured this out myself, because there's nothing that tells you this. If you hold down the action button or whatever, it says secure door. Now, if you don't do that, anyone can walk in your base. Like, bef before I did that, like people can just open it. Apparently, anyway, I mean... Now, I, I swear I tried it before on somebody's door and it wouldn't let me in... That I didn't think knew that, but maybe they did know that. Anyway, that's just just what I heard. Uh, I thought it was um, an admin thing. Anyway, in your admin terminal, I'll talk a little bit about this since we're talking about building bases. It seems to be in this episode. Um, I just let me chuck another 10, 10 k flops in there. You won't need anywhere near that many flops invested in your base this early, but it's not a bad place to stick them. Um, certainly in your skill tree. Um, whatever weapons you want is a good one, whatever gear you want is a good one, um, you know. Also save them for when you find a good blueprint. Uh, okay, um, yes, so uh, down here on the right, so if I created a, an alliance this would allow people to get into my base within the alliance and um, you can change that to owner. Um, which I would probably, I don't know, I normally solo. Um, I, I play a lot of survival games and I'm usually solo, so, you know. Um, oh, and you can customize your base, you know. Let's make it black. I believe that's done it. it might take a while to update, honestly. Oh, no, no, sorry, I, I've not done all the colors. There's, there's like different parts. Has that not done it? Okay. Do you know what? I don't normally actually colour my base. I probably need to press enter or something. There we go. Just click off it. Click back on it then. Okay, there's also um, patterns and things like that you can do in here as well. Pattern palette. Uh, let's try that one. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, let's keep it like that. Okay, anyway, anyway. Uh, okay, so we're just going to finish the roof off. Uh, and I want a way of getting up the roof as well. So, now it's three. So I'm going to use a ladder for this. You can also use a ramp, which is in the ceiling square ramps. Um, but I'm going to use a ladder, uh, which I believe is in support. Okay, you got to unlock, you unlock these things? That'll do. Okay, so now it always leans towards you. Um, if you press on mine on its E to turn it upside down, um, if you want to get it underground. But but basically, I'm going three stories high. But I actually need a little lip up there too, so I'm going to pull this all the way back there. You got to face away from it, like to get it to get it to face the right way. Though that's a little bit awkward to get up. Oh well. Yeah. Okay, so ceilings. Now I'm a little bit. Um, I don't like having this. This is a personal thing, but I don't like having this uh, outside area. Like I feel like somebody can fall from the sky and land in my base. So I normally build a little. Like it doesn't matter because they can't take anything, but you know. So I build up a little door doorway here. Okay, feels better. Now 
Now this is going to take you a fair amount of resources to build this big. Like I say, I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm building this size now so that once I finish this episode, when I'm onto the other ones, I can just come home, throw my stuff down, and get straight back out to the next mission. Um, so yeah, so let's let's finish this off with, and, and I'll show you. I'll because we're doing the building. Um, let's unlock all of these. Uh, more things to spend your hard-earned flops on. Interesting name, by the way. Do tier mate extract a way late aim, uh, if even necessary. Honestly, like we'll talk about that later. But uh, we're going to build up most of the things that are in here. Uh, so crafting devices uh, that'll come later. Lab will come later. Most of these things will come later. Oh, I certainly want a storage container. Okay, cloning chamber. That's kind of early game, but it's going to tell me to do that soon anyway. Um, one thing it doesn't tell you to do is storage vault, so I might do that a little bit earlier. Uh, devices, storage vault. Okay. Probably just chuck these over there. Um, so they are two stories high, however, the. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Industrial furnace is three stories high, uh, so that wouldn't fit in a um, in a two-story high base. But you know what? I did say I'd built it too small, didn't I? So let's check that up on the roof anyway. Okay. Uh, now, because it's PV um, PVE. You know, can't hurt to work that on the roof. Uh, so you could build it two stories high, you'd be fine with that the whole game. Just stick this on your roof. Uh, another thing that is kind of late game as well, which is way down here. I'll talk about this tree a little bit more. In fact, let's talk about it now while I'm on it. Uh, so, notice these things down here. Um, so, uh, decrease the amount of nutrition. That costs 60, okay. And this notice that's got a, that's got a um, like, leaf next to it so if you, if we go back into here um, these these are flops it's like a little chip thing it looks a little bit like an egg timer in my opinion like a you know a pixelated egg timer I don't know um, but that's that's different I got 40k of those here I got four and a half K okay so these are your survival survivalist points now to unlock the memory capsule uh, your rocket boots um, gauntlet and stuff you can technically get these like very early game if 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 you want to fight some really really hard enemies um, by just collecting flops over and over again and and um, you'll make it to these kind of quick to be fair because these are only like 120 stuff like it I got to this quite quick but to get the actual things to make it, it took me ages um, like it's really really like you've completed the game by the time you're unlocking these kind of things um, pretty much <clears throat> but how you get more of these points is by spending your skill points hit in the other trees so you use your flops on these things and you'll get points for this thing uh, so I already got a fair amount so we can go follow the tree straight to the memory capsule I'll get the others on the way as well though I've not spent enough flops to get too far but let's see how far I can get See, I looked on them fair amount, I already got the Vanguard Rocket Boot. That's not loads, loads, but, you know, it, is, it isn't a small amount either, so I'm not going to say that, that you get them straight away, but, um, yeah, it's it's not it's not too long either. So this is like 482, it's costing me like 10 there, uh, it's like thousands over this end, so, you know, while well till you get jetpack, but, but not so long for the Vanguard Rocket Boots. But crafting them, that's a different story. So... I'll pop up the memory capsule now. Uh, I'm probably going to have to rebuild this later because there's a bit, a little bit of a glitch in in the missions thing because uh, I spawned it in as admin, but it's it's not uh, too big of a problem. So memory capsule, I'll show you more about that one in the next episode. So there we go. I think that, that's enough for now for this episode. 
Um, I'm going to be cracking on with the other one straight after, so you can probably move straight on to the next episode. Um, if I don't get them all done tonight, um, if I don't complete the game tonight, literally, then... And, and I am going a little bit slow because I'm, I'm, I'm talking, um, so maybe I won't, but I have done the whole game in, like, under six hours before, so maybe there's only going to be six of these episodes. Um, but like I say, I'm getting to them a little bit slower just because of having to chat. Uh, anyway... So that'll do for this episode. Um, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.